Isang pagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ito po muli si Pastor Herbert uh, para sa ating Our Daily Breath Devotion. And before we begin our devotion for today, let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for today. Thank you for love and care, your mercy, and your protection to us the whole evening. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the compassion you've shown to us and our family too. Thank you for the blessings and the health and the power and strength that came from you. Thank you very much for everything, Lord. Maraming pong salamat at tuloy pong aming panandalangin, padrasal sa mga tao, alala, kung sino man ang may karamdaman, COVID-19, mura mild hanggang critical condition sa mga hospitals sa buong Pilipinas. Nadalangan po namin sila sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sila'y gagaling, sila'y lalakas sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sila'y mga kuwina ng bahay at patuloy na may hindi ang uh, kapiling kanila mga mahal sa buhay sa pangalan ni Jesus. As you continue to pray for Sister Madel, for her asthma, continue to heal her. Sa mom ni Sister Arlene, kay Choi din, uh, nawag maling na po siya. At lahat po na may karamdaman ngayon, anak po ni uh, Brother John. Uh, we pray na gumaling na rin po sa pangalan na Yesus sa Dengue. In Jesus' name, yung bunso po ni John, Brother John John ay gagaling sa pangalan na Yesus. I also pray for Michelle Beltran, uh, alala po ni Sister Mitch. Magaling na po pati ang kanyang sambahayan, palakasin, palugsuin sa pangalan na Yesus. Magmula ulong ng talambakan, kagalingan mula sa kanilang lahat. In Jesus name pray. Amen. Dawa, kayo po lagi ay masaya at malusog. Kapilan ninyo mga mahal sa buhay. Ngayon po ating po nga pag-uusapan ay sa aklat ng uh, Psalms, verse 5, 11-12. Sabi po, But let all who take ref- refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. And spread your protection over them, uh, that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover him with favor as with a shield. Alam nyo yung mga past verses is tumutukoy sa mga uh, sins ng uh, uh, kalaban ibang enemy, David the time. But now, he's again mentioning about uh, the righteous, no? na ang joy ng mga na, nasa Panginoon, nasa Diyos, ay siyempre mula sa Panginoon. Ang kalang kagalakan ay dahil sila ay hawak no? at uh, niyayakap o protektado ng ating Diyos. Sabi dyan, but let all who take refuge in you rejoice. So, muli ating pinag-aaralan at uh, sineshare through the word of the Lord and uh, by King David yung kagalakan dahil tayo nasa Panginoon yung kagalakan dahil tayo yung hawak yung buhay natin yung hawak natin Diyos na bagaman tayo nagkakaroon ng mga imperfections bagaman tayo nagkakaroon ng mga pagkakamali once in a while uh, we understand na unawaan natin na uh, yung kagalakan na ito na sa ating puso kahit na yun nahihirapan tayo bigat ang pakaramdam o magbigat ang kalagayan ng buong mundo at mga Pilipinas ay andun yung ating kagalakan andun yung ating kasiyahan sa puso yung inner joy yung inner happiness na sa kaibutulan ng ating puso yung matatagpuan no? for uh, for you Bless the right, so Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. So yung mga matatawid, yung mga nanampataya sa Panginoon, yung mga sumusu sa kanyang halan, sumusu sa kanyang kalooban, pinagpala at iniingatan. Pinagpala at iniingatan. Kaya lagi po natin sinasabi, blessings comes after obedience. Obedience, no? Hindi ka naman sumusunod dahil lang hihingi ka ng blessing, ano? But then you obey the Lord because you love Him. And His promises are true, always true. He will bless you, He will protect you. Papapalain ka niya at iingatan ka niya sa anong sakuna, karamdaman, at even yung nakarang lindol. No? I think 547 Maritude sa Mindoro ang epicenter. God still protected us once again with that earthquake. So, kapatid, kaibigan, ka-Facebook na nanonood ng uh, Our Daily Breath na ito, Lagi natin tatandaan, huwag natin kakalimutan ha, huwag ng Diyos ang ating buhay. Ang ating uh, tanggulan, ang ating kalakasan ay sa Kanya lamang. Siya pa rin lagi ang source ng ating kagalakan. 
mabash man tayo, makritisays ng iba, may tao mga hindi tayo gusto. It's okay. As much as we do the right thing, we serve God with all our heart, and we have a clean conscience that we're doing everything for God's glory to serve God and serve people and serve your family. Tuloy-tuloy ka lang sa iyong ginagawa. At tandaan po natin na ang pagpapali ating mga kamit. There's a lot of blessings to understand. Uh, there are financial blessings. There are health blessings. There are, of course, yung blessings ng kagalakan at contentment sa buhay. At peace of mind. Yun yung magandang blessing na matatagpuan natin sa atin na tayo ay nakapagpatuloy ng buhay na may kapanatagan. May kagalakan, may kasiyahan. And no matter what happened to the world, no matter what happened to our environment, we are at peace because God embraces us every day. And that's why this uh, our daily breath devotion ay uh, nagawa or sinilang dahil our God wants to remind us our daily breath it comes from Him. Our daily breath is Jesus. Because ang dahil po pumapanaw at namawalan ng buhay, binabawin na ng buhay uh, mula 2019, 2020, this year. So we need to really appreciate every day that passes by and to offer our lives to God and please Him and serve Him. Kung meron tayo bang ginagawa dati sa ating uh, buhay noon, mas magandang abutan tayo ng Panginoon Diyos o ng pagbawi ng buhay na aktibo tayo sa kanyang gawain at tayo ay nabubuhay na maayos wala kang binabash na iba wala kang binapakstab wala kang sinasabotage <laughs> masaya ka lang ginagawa mo lang tagal lahat para sa Panginoon and pray for those people who are really in trouble right now or keep on sinning I, uh, me, uh, all, my advocacy I always pray for those Uh, homosexuals, lesbians, no, I'm not bashing them, no, they're also human, but let us be honest, the Bible does not support their way of living, the Bible does not support uh, their gender, there's nothing in the Bible that says that there is female, man and woman, and then at the middle, no, there's no four genders in the Bible, only two, and even in the New Testament, Jesus does not support any any anything about uh, Sodom and Gomorrah it does, does, does not support the people live there that sana hindi sila namatay or na devastate or na parasan. Because let's be honest all the sins of the world and let us give light and life for those people who continue to do sin and pray for them I know magbabago rin sila ng buhay and even, and even inside the church some people still remain homosexuals lesbians and they continue to hide it and it's a real sad story sometimes servants pa ng Panginoon no? uh, but you know lahat naman yung nalalaman ng Panginoon no? me and even me all of our sins are not secret to God it is exposed to Him because everything is uh, visible to God no? so again uh, let me repeat the Bible verse for the day before we end our devotion Psalms 5 verse 11 and 12 But let all who take refuge in you rejoice Let them ever sing for joy And spread your protection over them To those who love your name and exalt you For you bless the righteous, O Lord You cover him with the favor as with a shield Let us rejoice Because God is with us God, is, God loves us so much Even though we make mistakes He will embrace us, He will protect us He will bless us So let's rejoice and By doing so, all together, hand in hand, let's win souls and make disciples, serve people, inspire people, encourage one another. Thank you for watching this Our Daily Breath. Let's pray. Fire in heaven, one, thank you for today. Thank you for giving us protection. Thank you for embracing us. Thank you for giving us joy and blessing us. You are our shield, our insurance. Fire in heaven, you are. You make us secure, not an insecure. We are secured in your hands. Thank you very much for all the blessings you've given to us. We love you and we will serve you as long as we live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Salamat po sa panood ng Our Daily Breath. Tumuli si Pastor Burger Daily Breath. Ingat po kayo lagi. Salamat. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.